I've been racing here for many years and I always see these kids out here. Um, so it's fun to actually have some time to come over and say hi. When you see these kids and how passionate they are about racing, it brings me back to when I was driving go-karts and, and how much fun that was. Um, and to me, how, how pure racing is. That, this was the most pure time of racing for me. So it, it's awesome to see these kids out here racing and, and just be a part of it for a little bit of time today. There was guys that would come to the track that I thought were incredible. And um, just to have them there, you know, being a part of that event was, was so special. And so, um, yeah, I, I just, it makes you think back to where it all started and, and what it's all about. And uh, at the end of the day, it's just, you know, we have a love for racing and you can see that with all these young racers out here, they love racing and, and uh, that's why they're out here doing it. Racing's a people sport. It's all about the people that you meet, the relationships you build. Um, it's, it's not gonna happen alone. You know, you can't make your way to the top by yourself. So there's, there's a lot of people you're gonna meet inside racing, uh, outside racing too, that, that are gonna help you potentially get to where you wanna be. So it's about taking care of those people and, and you know, making sure that you develop those relationships as best you can, taking care of the people around you. I've just been around racing all my life and my dad was the one that got me into it all. It's just, me, it, I just really can't run as fast as other people and then with racing, I'm, I'm competitive no matter what. Okay. I'm as fast as everybody else. I just really couldn't believe it. It, it was just so fun. My son Mason uh, was born with uh, several palsy and stick and ball sports really weren't an option uh, for us, uh, but we continue to go to the race, to races and support it. And it's just something he wanted to do and something I felt like he could do and be competitive. So uh, we took a shot and we're here at Texas Motor Speedway. Mason just had a general interest in uh, things with wheels and cars and uh, you know, you start them out on the power wheels and then they get the four wheeler and, you know, he just kind of had a no fear uh, attitude and, uh, you know, we had friends that raced quarter midgets and would go watch and um, it's just we had an opportunity to buy a car and we did and we tried it and, you know, we've been going hard ever since. It was pretty special. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, it was uh, it just meant a lot to me to see him not give up. It's amazing. I mean, this guy could be doing a lot of other things. Uh, you know, as he said in his interview, he, he was going to be on a track in an hour and a half, but he takes time out of his schedule to come down here and see kids. And some know who he is and some don't. Uh, but, uh, you know, it means something to him uh, to obviously come back to his grassroots. And uh, it means something to us that have seen him come up through the series also. He said there were several years, he, he, there were several times he didn't think he would ever race a, a car again but he had some opportunities come up and he never lost that motivation and drive, so he stuck with it. So um, I think that, that sends a, a good message to the racers and the parents that you're gonna go through highs and lows, but if you stick with it, it pays off.